What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Thursday to you guys. So today, guys, today, today, wowza, wowza, wowza. This breakfast that I'm about to fix is so good. I mean, it's so good. But before I get into the breakfast, there are a few minor changes that I made in the van that will hopefully make a big impact on the way that I live inside the van. First of all, first of all, first of all, <laughs> first of all, <laughs> first off, I took all of my clothes out of the big basket that I had them in, the laundry basket, and I had these two large gray uh, duffel bags and swords. So I divided them up and put them in those two large duffel bags and they are now under the, underneath the bed. So I now freed up that space, which I have my DoorDash bag right there now. And that DoorDash bag holds a lot of little odds and, odds and ends and knickknacks and stuff that I can throw in there. So that was the first thing. Now let me show you guys what the second thing was. Let's go outside. Woo. Can you see me? All right. The second thing was this table right here was on a slant because the van is on a slant. The slant is nowhere near like the Toyota Sienna. That that van had a woo. Uh, uh. So what I did was I took I took some. I went to Home Depot. And I got some uh, paint stirs, the little wooden paint stirs. And it was like 12 of them in a pack for a dollar and 50 cent. I got my uh, jigsaw out and I cut them down. And now, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I put them underneath here and it raised up the table. Now I still have to put maybe one or two more in there because it's still, you can always tell when you put some oil in your pan and the oil still slightly goes over. So I have to raise it up just a tad bit more, but I have some more of those. But I may have to go back to Home Depot and get some bigger L brackets because I'm raising up the table and the smaller L brackets are not going to fit. The other thing that I did is on this side. of the van. Okay. I did the same thing with my bed. My bed, again, was on a slant because the van is uh, on a slant. So what I did was I had this long piece of wood. It's about this thick. I put that piece of wood right here. See that? And you can see the wood right here that brown piece of wood that I stained. Yeah. And that raised the bed up on this side. And I can honestly tell the difference. It feels like my bed now is a lot more level. So I did that. <clears throat> what else I did? Oh, another small thing I did. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you guys because of the ca the camera angle, but let me get back up in her. Shut this door because it's kind of windy out there. <laughs> another thing that I did was I bought a basket. Let me see if I can show y'all this basket. I bought this basket because I had a lot of little knickknacks that I wanted to put down here. And this is my catch-all basket. I got seasonings in there, my lights in there. <laughs> I got everything in there, but it keeps everything still. Now I wanted that particular type of basket because it's a wired basket and it would not block the size of the jackery so that the jackery can still vent. So that was important to me to get one that was wired 
and not to block the side of the jackery. All right, with that being said, those are some minor little changes that hopefully will make a big difference now. And since I got that cargo thing on the roof and that's where all my camping gear is, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna put my clothes underneath the bed and that would be it. So now let's get into this breakfast. I had some two day old rice from when I fixed that roast beef. Now that was the, that was the first time I fixed this meal. This is the second time that I fixed this breakfast. And I was like, oh, I have got to show them this breakfast because it's so simple and so delicious. So I'm just gonna take some rice. Yesterday I cooked my favorite meal. What's my favorite meal? Curry chicken. <laughs> I fixed some curry chicken. And I, of course, have some rice. Even a cup of rice, you're gonna get like maybe two or three servings out of it. So this is good for when you have to fix a cup of rice and you know you're gonna have some rice left over. This is good for that. All right, so I'm gonna put some rice in there. Let me turn this on first. Put some Deo rice in there. Put some Deo rice in there. And the good thing about this is you can put the exact amount that you want in there. You don't have to overdo it. Because I am definitely now trying to be a lot more conscious of portions. So I'm gonna get back here a little bit and I'm gonna break this rice up. And I don't even take the rice out of the um, <laughs> the rice cooker. I leave it right in there. With the temperatures of today, there's no need. My van is a, a part-time refrigerator. <laughs> My van is a refrigerator. Yesterday, man, I had a very, very productive day. Oh my God, it was so productive. I cooked breakfast and dinner yesterday. What, Anthony? I only bought out one time because I had to have my Chipotle. I was missing my Chipotle. Okay, let me get some um, avocado oil. See, <laughs> I got everything in this little basket down here. Cause you're gonna need something to break this rice up. I'll keep that there cause I'm gonna use it again. And I'm gonna hit it with some of this Killings salt and pepper blend. Y'all know, y'all already know, already know. So yesterday, man, I fixed breakfast and dinner. I went to the library. Y'all know it's got to be peppery. Then, I took a half a sausage. That's all I used uh, yesterday, a half a sausage. Here's the other half. And I'm just gonna break it up into little itty bitty pieces. You can use whatever, whatever meat you want, you know, whatever breakfast meat, but I tend to go more with uh, the ones that are already done. Break them up into itty bitty pieces. Yeah. I'm finally getting back into a steady routine now. I'm getting back into a steady routine. Yesterday was good. Yep, I'm getting back into a steady routine now. All right. You want to break down that rice. Break down that rice because it's been sitting in the cold. Cool. 
and you want to uh, play play the uh, how much olive I mean uh, whatever oil you use avocado oil play it by ear because I like mine to have that little glister to it but not like overuse it smells delicious already let me tell y'all this might be one of my go-to breakfast meals I ain't lying if I'm lying I'm flying and I can't fly Yeah, I think I need to raise this up about, probably about there. Maybe two more of those uh, paint stirs. Again, one of the great things about this meal is that you can fix how much of it you want. Make sure your rice is broke down. And basically all you doing since the sausage is already, I'm gonna open up that window. Since the sausage is already done, let's turn this down down. Since the sausage is already done, all you have to do is uh, heat it up, heat the rice up, and then my final ingredient, but let me open that window up. Oh, oh my goodness. Y'all will never guess what I did today. Never guess what I did today. This morning. I went to the gym. Uh, yes, I went to the gym today. And I worked out. Yes for an hour and 10 minutes. Whoop, whoop. It felt so good. <laughs> Let's pray. Cross your fingers that this is the start of me going back to the gym. All right, the final ingredient is an egg. I bought these eggs from Publix when I was in uh, Sarasota, on my way leaving Sarasota. And I'm telling you, this is how you package eggs. Look at this. They have one one cover and then two covers look at that let me show y'all walmart eggs if i can find them little suckers eh. look at walmart eggs <laughs> this is walmart eggs <laughs> It's packaging here, baby. And look at that egg. Look at that egg. I better hurry up before my stuff burn up. But man, oh man, I'm telling you. Put your egg in there. Ah, let your egg get cooked. Go ahead and mix it all together. And man, you talking about something that's gonna be good. I love this frying pan, boy. It is a true non-stick frying pan. A true non-stick frying pan. All right, we're gonna turn this off now. Because the residual heat will continue to cook the eggs. All right, I'm going to get me a drink. And then we're going to get down with the get down. Give me a fork. Where are my forks? 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 Where are my forks, baby? Where are my forks? All righty, look at this. Okay, can you move out the way? 
so we can see. Let me see if I can put y'all down just a tad bit. So y'all, oh, need to go this way. And put your girl in there and eat it. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my goodness. All right, back up. Woo. I love these flavored waters. This is what keeps me drinking more water than I usually drink. I bought like a 32 pack from Sam's Clubs when we was on the road. Love, love, love. And my refrigerator does a great job at keeping them nice and ice cold. All right, guys, I'm going to do one more little thing because <laughs> we know, we know, we know. Just a little bit. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right, guys, here we go. Oh, Lord. Mm, mm, mm. I need to eat more eggs anyway, because eggs is a good source of protein. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Mm. This is so good. Oh my gosh. Wowzer. You know what else would be good with this? Some some andouille sausages. Mm, mm, mm. Woo! It's so simple. Just three ingredients, y'all. And who doesn't have eggs around? Who doesn't have some sort of rice around? I mean, just, even if you don't cook rice, just cook some rice one day and have it ready for you the next day. Cause I'm telling you, this is a wild meal. And it's not heavy on the stomach. <clears throat> Itty bitty pieces of sausages mixed in. This is good. Mm -mm -mm. Wowza! Mm -mm -mm. And what did that take? Five minutes? Oh my gosh, this is so refreshing. Oh my God, so refreshing. Woo, 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 oh boy. My eyes are looking bad, I hope. It's still a little red, <laughs> but it feels so much better than two days ago. I don't know what's going on with this uh, this right eye. Sometimes it did, d does that. <clears throat> I don't know whether it's because I don't have any allergies that I know of. And right now, it feels like something is in there. You know how people blow in your eye? But I don't want to mess with it too much. But it did. Okay. I think I, I, think I got it out. But yeah, it's, it's feeling better. It was almost like my right eye became sensitive to light. Because when I even look at my phone, and I think it could be a couple of things. Maybe because I'm always looking at my phone on the bright setting, so it's really lit up. Same with my laptop. So I, I, I dim the both, the laptop. <coughs> oh, excuse me. The laptop and the um, phone. I dim the, especially when I'm in a van at night. I don't want it to be all bright and it could be possibly seen from the outside. So I dimmed both the phone and the laptop. Another thing is how close I have everything. 
especially my laptop. My laptop, I'm sitting here and I'm like this. The phone, you know, I guess it's in arm um, distance or whatever. But yeah. So hopefully that is it. Because I've never been a person that had allergies. I've never had allergies. But it's definitely feeling and it's a light it's a lot less red today than it was like two days ago. <clears throat> Someone even mentioned in the video in the comments that my eye is red and they thought maybe it was pink eye. Woo, don't wish that pink eye on me. Mm -mm. My brother had pink eye a couple of times. I said, stay the heck away from me because that's contagious. Pink eye is contagious. Mm. I'm going to be heading to Baltimore probably on Monday because I want to get a head start before the uh, Thanksgiving traffic starts and people start uh, traveling. So Monday, I'll probably head to Baltimore and uh, I'm working on that P.O. box. I'm gonna go ahead and fill out the uh, application today and get that back to the post office so that I can get a P.O. box because so many of you have asked me to get one because y'all know it's like pulling two for y'all for me to get something that will allow you guys to send me stuff. I'm like, um, I don't really need anything. <laughs> I don't really need anything. Even at that meetup, two people asked me about the um, P.O. box. Then I was talking back and forth, exchanging um, comments with uh, Kathy. And I said, you know what? I'm not even going to be around. I'm going to be gone for periods of time. I'm not going to say long periods of time, but for me, it's long. Because that road trip I just came off of, for me, was long. A road trip and being away from home. And I know somebody, one, one guy said, oh, I thought your home was with you. My residential home where my address and all those things are. Is what I mean. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I'm going to get, I'm going to get the P.O. box, but here's the thing. When I tell you guys that I'm about to hit the road, don't send me nothing. <laughs> don't send nothing. <laughs> Cause it's gonna be sitting there forever. Also, this is so good. I mean, I'd have already brushed my teeth and did everything this morning. Went to the gym, shower. Now I gotta. Am I doing it? Can you brush your teeth with your dentures in your mouth? But I don't think you can use a regular toothbrush. I think you have to use the toothbrush that they gave you. That would save me a lot of time and trouble. Cause like now, in between days, I mean in between during the day, if I eat something like this, if wanted to brush my teeth, I don't have to take them out. I think you can. I think I looked that up and they said you could. <clears throat> but you have to use a toothpaste with the least abrasive in it. I ain't never heard of that word until I got my dentures. I had to look up and see what the toothpaste that I was using, which is the Sensodyne, was that a, a low abrasive toothpaste? I'm like, because I ain't buying that mask because I got two of them up in here. <laughs> and that Sensodyne, that Sensodyne costs like $6. I 
I take these teeth out and brush the rest of them with the Sensodyne. Look at that, y'all. Mm-mm-mm. That was delicious. I even got my trash bag in the basket down there. <laughs> that was so delicious. I'm on top of it, y'all. I bought a new bottle of Men Over 50 multivitamins. And let me tell y'all, this is the gummies, because I like the gummies. This is the nastiest god darn vitamin. Excuse me. This thing costs $14, and they are so nasty. You know what? I should have took this thing before I ate this food. Yeah, I'm going to have this nasty taste in my mouth. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, God. I wish I could have opened them up and smelled them. They smell horrible. Look at that. It got like little crystals. Look like a little jelly bean with crystals on it or something. It is, this is nasty. Ugh. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Oh God. I don't think I'm gonna make it through that whole thing. It got something in the end there. A hundred and ten. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna make it. 110. Oh god, I don't think I'm gonna make it. These might become my backup ones. Mm. I knew I should have got the same ones that I got before. But no, I wanna try something else. But anywho, I got them now. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.